How Bryce, you? how you doing? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm good. How you feeling? Uh, yeah. I'm good. I'm good. Just got a little stuff, you know. So if it sounds like I'm a fat guy, I probably am. But that's also the other thing to take into effect. My breathing is really loud. Oh. <laughs> Did you make? I mean, it might be a good time to make some microwave toast. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I, I need to go buy some bread so I can make some more microwave toast. Yeah, where do these thoughts come from? Well, to be honest with you, <clears throat> it just really comes more or less from boredom. I was a uh, Right. Working on the drilling rigs at the time, and uh, I don't know the, where you like. I was well. I was out in South Texas during this one, uh, but uh, we were stuck down hole for a while. Not Odessa. No, 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 no. Okay. I was uh, around Carriza Springs, which is like actually South Texas. <laughs> you know, not West Texas. Cause okay. Screw that place. But um, we were stuck down hole for about a week and a half. So, when my job doing solid control, I didn't. Uh, have anything to do whenever they were stuck because all my stuff is running whenever they're drilling. So I was stuck inside just uh, cooking and watching TV. So after a while, I was like, man, I'm just bored. So let me just, I don't know, let me just do something stupid because that's what I'm used to doing is stupid stuff. So I just, off the top of my head, I was like, I should probably make, should make some microwaved toast. And uh next thing you know <laughs> five million views. <laughs> yeah, I, I was I was it was five, just it was out of boredom views. and for some reason people were just like five million views on microwave like, toast. They were like, Yeah, that, that shit's freaking hilarious. The guy in the background was like a little Asian engineer looking dude. Nah, yeah, he was uh, his name was Hector. He was a uh, Hector. He was a uh, uh, he was our mud engineer out there and uh he didn't really uh he didn't know how to handle it, to be honest with you. He's a super cool guy, but uh, every time I'd make a video like that, he would just kind of stand in the background like, well, here goes this motherfucker again. <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> I think it's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if they want to, if the, you can find it by looking up Bryce Microwave Toast. Yeah, uh, actually, my, my YouTube name is actually just... Uh, it doesn't have as many views on YouTube because I, I put it on Facebook first, right. so that's where everybody's seen it. But if you just put in my name on YouTube, Bryce Bro, and uh, yeah. I've got a couple of them on there. Uh, I've got my uh, famous twerk video, which uh, a lot of people want to. They ask me to twerk whenever I go to uh-huh. an event or something, but I'm like, I'm getting kind of old to be twerking like that now. So. I got that one, and I'm getting old. Getting <laughs> kind of old to start to twerk. Yeah, I don't. I don't recover as easily from uh, twerking like that anymore. It, uh, it hurts a lot more now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I it, it, I don't know if anybody knows Bryce, but like, you have to experience the thought of Bryce twerking <laughs> twerk videos with Bryce. Yeah, it was a. Uh... It hurt. It hurt. And, yeah, it hurt. Uh, and I mean, the worst part was I, that I had to. Uh, what hurt the back? Like when you were lifting up your back or trying to like. Twerk well, if, if you if you haven't seen the twerk video, you would have to. Uh, you would oh, have to I, watch. I, I it. did. I've seen the videos, <laughs> but it's twerking probably in a different way. I'm yeah, thinking. no, it is. Okay. Uh, it is. I I feel like if that's how people twerked normally, then uh, twerking would have been dead as soon as it came out because. Uh, <laughs> Well, I, I, whew. I've had that one out for a while. I think I did that one back in uh, 2013. That sounds about right. What's this one with the white powder? Okay. Uh, <laughs> so what that one was, it was a little face. Uh, pretty much if I got so many likes and comments, then I would have to wet my face and then put flour on it. But as oh. you you know, I'm, I'm not exactly somebody to just do it that simply so mm-hmm. i had to have the andy little bit i was like well if i got even more than this and that then i was gonna make it you know worthwhile for people to watch it so i ended up getting like uh over two i think it was over 400 comments and over 200 likes on it and 
I was like, well, I'm going to make sure that it's uh, it's good for everybody to watch. So we took it in the backyard, and I did my little speech. And uh, my buddy David had the water hose, so when I told him to, I told him to just shoot me in the face with the water hose for a little bit. And um, then whenever I, was <laughs> whenever I was done with that, I had my brother run up to me with a bowl full of flour, and he just chucked it right in my face. So it looked like I was at a Wayne Toops concert for a little bit. But uh, That's funny, because Wayne Toops is right above your head. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, Papa Wayne. I didn't mean to insult you like that. Oh, no. He's... <laughs> he- He's he's uh he's a trip, but uh yeah so that's where it uh that's where it looked like I was playing in cocaine heaven, and uh so as soon as after <laughs> <Cocaine> that <heaven. laughs> I looked like I was best friends with Scarface for a little bit. Did, did you see this new video that this guy like this this what is it the kitchen guy like Gordon Ramsay or whatever the guy with the hair he's got this really spiky blondish colored hair. Not Spike. not the not the flavor town guy. The, no, the, not Guy Fieri. Um, he he has a video where they they he apparently goes in the bathroom and he find he has these swabs. Or, or, that was and Gordon. He, and Rams. he like what? literally goes yeah. in the bathroom of his staff and he checks it for cocaine. And there's residue. cocaine everywhere in the staff and it's bathroom. Like all and, over the, the place. <laughs> and then he's like, "It's on a Sunday." <laughs> I'm like, that's probably the the time that they do it because it's Saturday night and they got to get up and go to work Sunday. Right. If I had to guess, you know what I'm saying? Like, like to me, like they're they're drunk and hung over. That's probably when they would want to do something like that Need on to keep Sunday. Us not going. But in his mind, <laughs> it's a whole other thought process. But everyone in the comments wrote, "Yeah, his manager stuff <laughs> looks like he's, they're guilty." Dude, that's hilarious. That, yeah, that is hilarious. Because uh, he couldn't, he couldn't handle that. I, I didn't know what to say honestly when I saw that video. I know what you're talking about though, but I think that was that that was Gordon Ramsay in one of his restaurants. Yeah, I, it, it's it's kind of funny. I just put you on the Instagram page while you're talking, <laughs> and, and, and it, it, like right when you started talking, you were talking about somebody putting a hose in your face. <laughs> <laughs> so they're gonna catch like the brunt end of that, like. What is his face with the white powder? About? And then Wayne Toops shows up. Well, I was like, <laughs> and then he's like right above you when you said it, which is kind of funny. Does the video make me look fat? So they had ten pounds. I, no, I mean it's, that's those TV cameras that do that. I am wearing a black shirt, so it should look a little stupid. <laughs> <laughs> <You're> stupid. <laughs> no, like, like, no, no. I think you're fine. Let me see here. I'm gonna put it online. Yeah, uh, Bryce, bro, talk. Let me see if it'll put talks. Yeah, Bryce, bro, talks. <laughs> Manages to talk. Tries just talks. to talk. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like just talks. Just having a, t- a talk. But no, um, let's talk about Acadiana. And and not only just Acadiana, I mean... You, do you play music? I don't right now. You play now. guitar though. Uh, you play every once in a while. You got like a guitar video or something. Yeah, well, I had I had the the one guitar video where I was. Uh, oh, you yes. <laughs> you I did would, really well in that video. Too. I mean, I felt like I felt like I did. Uh, no, I, I, if y'all I, didn't see, if y'all haven't seen Bryce play the guitar, you need to go check that out. I wouldn't call myself a professional by a long shot to say that I would even call myself kind of a professional would be uh, an insult to everybody that actually does. No, it, I, I, I remember this video now and my, and, and I was, I, I, it was pretty good. I thought it was good. I mean, it, it was yeah. simple. It was just me playing a couple well, of pretty chords when, you know, some violent lyrics. By, <laughs> by well, you know, it. where we live, we see all these people constantly making songs. So like, it, it's, it's a thing that, we we see this every day. Like we're always like, oh, uh, I've been working on this song. I'm gonna play it for y'all right now. And like out of nowhere, <laughs> you know, like you know, you waiting for the song. I'm I'm still working on it. Uh, I've added a little bit to it. It's called uh, Macaroni Cowboy, actually. Uh-huh. And, uh huh. And there's just no reason behind. It. I just thought Macaroni Cowboy sounded like a good name for whatever reason. So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can only imagine. So, uh, yeah, just sometimes just look in the look in the dictionary for random ass words, and I didn't do it that time, but just 
macro. Dude, yeah, I, I got the perfect video for that. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> what uh, what would that be? Well, you just, like, you get on a quarter horse. <laughs> you put the quarter in. You go get some, some of them mac and cheese bowls. <laughs> and you get a cowboy hat. And you, like, get people walking by. Like, hey, guys, you get a video what's going of you, on? you, like, up and close, and you put the quarter in, and you're, like, eating the macaroni holding on to the horse and like people walk by and you, you get their reaction <laughs> to me that's a that's a video where where would i even find one of those things because Dude, i'm trying they... to get one i'm trying to get one i'm serious I, they they have them in mexico but you got to transport them really yeah and they're, they're very hard to like they just disappear i used to ride those motherfuckers all the time well the mean to me on? the one at the damn toys r us i almost could slap myself for not going and get it because yeah. the, before they closed, I, I would have loved to have had it. Could you imagine putting that outside my office? Could you imagine me sitting on that thing? Oh, dude, we'd have, <laughs> we would have, we would have literally like we'd have had a lot of fun with that. You could bring that to the festival and just let people put quarters in it Probably on the street. Good, you know how many people would have did that? Make a good little killing of it. Oh, yeah. dude, you 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 would. You, I would say you'd make at least twenty dollars an hour. All the little scooter kids just stop everybody to ride it. <laughs> well, speaking of that, the scooter kids, what, what's up with that? Uh, I think they shut it down yesterday. Well, I, saw, I saw somewhere that that uh, Mayor Robito was trying to get them taken out, which, I mean, I think it's stupid because if you've ever rode one of those things, they're actually pretty fun. Well, but, they're fun, but the problem I think that they have with them, man, is... A lot is, of the people, they don't pay attention to the road. They well, just feel like they're... I feel like they feel like they're a kid again riding through their neighborhood, well, yeah. especially when it's around Johnson Street. They're yeah, just they, zipping across the street and not caring about the traffic the, that's coming Well, no, it. the issue I think that they have is, okay, like Sunday, I was riding... And, like, out of nowhere, like, this is what you see, right? I got a picture of it. Oh, yeah. All the scooters like, just They're all on the back. ground. We they're all on the it. road, hanging in the road. They had one off of, uh, by Marcello's. It was in the road. Really? It was literally in, in the road because the wind blew it in the road. Yeah. So nobody really, they, they check on them once and they leave. You know what I'm saying? Like so, But the thing about it is, is I don't really think that's their property. Yeah, no. <laughs> to stick those scooters on the edge of the street like that so to me that's kind of they probably look at it more like a nuisance but at the same time if you get hurt because they were there i mean yeah. the liability on it you could possibly somebody could possibly sue the city because that's where they picked it up they um i've I rode them a couple times you're actually supposed to stick them on a on a sidewalk, kind of out of out of everybody's walking way, you know what I mean? Yeah. To where it's not on anybody's foot traffic, it's not on anybody's road traffic or anything. And um, before you finish it up, before it finishes charging, you have to take a picture of where it's sitting at, and it'll let you know if it's in a good spot or not. So, uh, I don't know. I, I know that there are a couple of people that like will pick them up and move them around, but then the scooter starts screaming, you know, so... The scooters that, start screaming. Yeah, like if you pick them up and try to move them or ride them without actually paying for it. Are you like, serious? Yeah, like the the scooters, they just start like starts like blowing a horn. It's it's pretty crazy. I didn't know that. Yeah, I've actually. Holy got, shit, we need to do this before I've, they get. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, they have some right around the corner. We should go do this. Well, it, it, it beeps a couple of times, but it's like I think if you just keep. I mean, trying what are to they gonna it, do? Call the fucking scooter police. The. <laughs> I just, I just imagine a dude on a scooter with a little, little dude, basket. In the front I'm telling you right now, I, I can only imagine. You know, <laughs> like I didn't know they did that. It's now a, I really want to see it. Yeah, I mean, like it's, it's, it's not much, but sounds like a, a dead rat, probably. No, it's just like you pick it up and it just goes like beep 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 beep, and it just you know it beeps for a couple of times, and then if you keep trying to move it, you know, either the the wheels will start locking up and such. That's or, crazy. So there's there's a lot of stuff in it, which is uh put, that's cool, but I some put, people they just don't care. I put scooters down on our uh, Facebook page. <laughs> no, on our Facebook, not Facebook, Instagram. I seen uh, Instagrams. I had a buddy. He posted a picture of it, and he he uh he posted there's a bird down, and there was actually a, a scooter that was freaking broken, man. It was like part of a scooter oh, just yeah. chilling somewhere when like it was like the front wheel. It's part like, of it. Instagrams. <laughs> In, Instagrams. In, it sounds like an old woman giving blowjobs. <laughs> Instagrams. 
Uh, for like twenty dollars. <laughs> Uh, she, she's on the corner giving blowjobs for like twenty dollars. Hey, what's up, Instagrams? Is she gumming it? Is she taking I, teeth? No, I'm just, <laughs> that's what it sounds like to me. Like I think I'm like Instagrams. That just sounds like some weird kinky shit. You took it to a whole different place. I was gonna say it was like a grandma that just weighs like she's like really light, you know, like twenty five pounds. <laughs> <laughs> he is too he's right there uh, I don't know how comfortable I feel with it oh god he's got the mullet dude mm-hmm. that was a that was a you know, that was a look <laughs> that that to me like that's what we should do like like I think that that's the that's kind of like something that we should do go to a Wayne Tube show with flour all over our face oh no 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> What I'm saying is, like, okay, like, you see this headshot from back in the 80s? <laughs> it's a black and white headshot, and it's got the name, and it's got, like, the contact info and stuff on it, so they could sign it. Like, they would sign autographs on yeah. that stuff. You know, so, like, if that would happen today, like, I think we should have stuff like that. Like, <laughs> like instead of putting, like, a picture, and you're, like, looking all cool and shit out of nowhere, you just got this, like, black and white headshot. Glamour shots. To me, everybody would, like... <laughs> It would be like, okay, this is who he is, okay, in real life, you know? Yeah. <laughs> really, I don't know. It would be a definite spin off of like something interesting from the eighties. I think it would be. It would make it more funny. I definitely think it would make it more funny. You know, because today it's like, come see my show. And uh, they, they, all the indie kids make, like, these cool posters and shit. And they yeah. all go to Dad Dog. Yeah. So, <laughs> and, and, like, it, it's just, it's very interesting here. Like, it's, it, it's, it's, it's like, you know, it's getting better, though. I have to say that. It is. Yeah. You know. At least you can go to a show and experience a show with other people. Yeah. And you, everybody's just happy you're there. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. Like, that's one thing I've noticed. It's you know? uh, it's it's still I notice it's still hard to get some people out, but it it is picking up, which is which is good for the scene. Yeah. Um, I mean, music hasn't really died in Lafayette, but it's definitely slowed down a bit over the last couple of years. Yeah, but it's gotten it's starting to pick back up, which yeah. is you know which is cool. It's interesting. It is I, interesting. I noticed like right after the station closed, it, it kind of. Well, it, but the thing about it, Bryce, is. People get spoiled, dude. They do. They do. Yes. And, and, you know, sometimes I guess the big head thing happens too, you know. But but at the same time, I mean, whatever, you know. I mean, like, creatively, I think that, you know, as long as people are making original music, yes. I think that's probably the good thing. Because we had this conversation about the other day. And, you know, the 60s and 70s and, and 80s, people were making original music. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden the 90s happened and there were seven bands. <laughs> that made original music <laughs> like uh, it's true it's like that's it like weird but it's true yeah and it's like the same bands keep coming back here to play music yeah. you know what i mean like it's like okay let's just like make our own music you know yes yes uh luckily uh with the introduction of a couple of new bars new venues around town it's starting to pick up there's more I'm glad to see that there's more teenagers now that are starting to mm -hmm. pick up guitars and make bands again because that 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 dropped off for a little bit. Well, they're they're, they're playing music. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, you know, they're in there. I think that I don't know. To me, like what I'm seeing is is more original music. Now. Yes, I, I and I told someone that the other day. Somebody actually said, you know, there's no original music as much as there used to be. I said, well, there is. You just have to know where to find it. Yeah. And they said, well, what do you mean? I said, well, the rock and metal world is definitely playing more original music yes you know uh, um you know if it and the thing about it is is like you know this i i don't really i, I see a lot of really interesting things on uh, about different genres because i have to look at all of them mm -hmm. and some of them do things for all of all of them do things for their own reason right but Sometimes I, I guess the growth ethic of it. The bigger you get, the more headache you get. That's and that's how I feel about bands like Disturbed you know? and Five Finger Death Punch. You know what I mean? 
Yeah. Because it's like lately they're just they've turned into cover bands because they haven't they've been releasing new music, but it's like all the music that's getting their attention is all just the the covers that they've been doing. Mm-hmm. And that's what I feel. I feel like it's record labels like we need to push out more music, we need to push out more music. And uh, well, they're all about like money. They don't give a yes, shit about definitely the, about the, the creative money. side of it. I mean, it, unless you just come out with a song because you went and locked yourself up in a closet yeah. for twenty four hours. <laughs> I mean, it's true. You know, they don't care about the creative shit. Yeah, you know, um, to me, they're more worried, and, and and I understand both sides sides of it. But you know, to me, I think we should be locking ourselves up in twenty four hours and seeing what comes out. Because after you get that mindset where you're grounded, you start doing something. There's been there's been a there's been some really good albums that have come out from people just isolating themselves for a month, two months. Yeah, just just writing music until they hate themselves, pretty much. I, I know? think it's great. I think it's good because, you know, I don't know. Like, like even if you are just, you know, if you if you restrict yourself from cigarettes for three days and just write down everything you think, you got yeah. an album. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what I'm, I'm, it's true. I mean, that if you do that with caffeine, if you if if you do that with cig- cigarettes and caffeine, you got a whole other album. Yeah. You, you do that with just coffee. Like, if you're a female singer and you drink <laughs> coffee every day, just stop drinking coffee for five days. And out of nowhere, you have, like, at least three songs. Yeah. Because, you, you know, done. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, I didn't know it is true. Uh, yeah. What sorry. else you going to do? Smoke weed all day? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, but it's true, like you know. I mean, it's true. Like to me, the, there's people. Oh, I just can't find anything to write about. Yes, you can. You just gotta. <laughs> you have to put yourself in the right, yeah, situation, the right place for it. But I hear it all the time. You know, and then when I do, you know, I don't know the the album. I think about. I don't know why I think about this album pop, popped up in my head just out of the blue. The first White Zombie album. Mm-hmm. The first Filter album. Yeah. Dude, those two albums, you know, w- w- they're completely different, but they were really awesome, like in their own way. Like, I, I and that's what I think about. Like, where did that come from? Like, where did, where were these guys doing at that time? What were they thinking at that time to make those albums? Because, I, dude, I that, imagine I imagine there was a lot of drugs in it. <laughs> I don't know, man. You you really don't know. I mean, you, no, you don't. You they they might that. tell you I wasn't doing any drugs at that time, you know. Cause, but but at the same time, I mean, dude, that first filter album was the shit. It still is. Yeah, you know. So it's, I remember listening to that album. I have one, I had a friend that used to get out. He used to get out of my car. We remember when that movie Teen Wolf came out. Yeah, yeah. Teen Wolf would get outside of uh, what's his name? What's the guy's name? His friend. The guy with the black hair. He had this van, a blue van. Styles. His name was Styles. <laughs> he called him Styles. He got out of Styles' van and he would ride the top of the van like he was surfing. Mm-hmm. Have you seen this? Uh, I don't think I've seen. Like I remember when, like when okay. it came out, but I don't think okay. I've seen it. Well, in the movie, he would he would do this. Yeah. Okay. He would get outside the car. And act like, and I think they played a Beach Boys song or some shit. And he was like acting like he was riding the top of the van. Well, I remember we got in some. We, we they would always try to suspend us and shit, dude. We were always like, you can't suspend us. We're we're across the street. <laughs> <laughs> like you know, like what are you doing? Like, but I had this white car. This bit. This, it was kind of long topped. Mm-hmm. It was actually an old 91 LTD crowd really? car. It actually still had the riot gun holder in the front. And I had a little <laughs> plastic rifle in That's it. That's awesome. And um, I had, like, we'd go to parties, and I would put a blue cop light. <laughs> and it was like, you know, the kind that you hook yeah. up with a with a magnet mm-hmm. or whatever, and you would put it on the top. Yeah. And it was, like, at a party, and it was, it was a blue <laughs> light flashing. I had an 18 in the trunk. <laughs> With three, like, I'm serious. This is like, no, I believe you. And we would go and, like, it was like the cop car party time, you know? It was interesting. I remember, um, we would go to, like, in the middle of the woods and, like, people would just start a party with a fire and shit. And in this car, Bryce is, Bryce is dying over here. I'm sorry, guys. Um, he, 
he would get out of my car when we were leaving school. Like, you know how you have this line when everybody's leaving school? Yes. Okay. Yes. So you'd have these principals and teachers, they would stand Just outside with their, yeah. their arms <laughs> crossed and shit. Like, they were... I am the law. You know what I mean? Like, that's how they would do. And he would get out of the car and, like, get on top of my car and, like, act like he was surfing. Good God. And they would get so pissed. Get out. Get back in the car. (laughs) What's wrong with you? And we would just, like, we were, like, you know. Then we would get to the, you know, where the really hard traffic was. And next thing you know, like, we would just jump in. Yeah. But. We did it a couple of times in traffic. Like, we were going like 40 miles an hour, 30, Jesus. 40 miles an hour. So, it, it, I mean, hey, we wanted to be like Teen Wolf. Yeah. Not, I mean, I didn't do it. I was driving. <laughs> but, you know, you got to keep it steady. <laughs> yeah. So, but it, but no, we did that quite a few times and we'd get in trouble all the time with it. But they were like, you know, where, why do y'all do this? I'm like, oh, dude, it's Teen Wolf. They thought that was crazy. Just teenagers. Today, it's bird scooters. <laughs> <laughs> like, when, when I see shit that kids do today, I'm like, man, these kids are really good. Like, I don't really think that they know what being bad is. Like, you know? Yeah. You do some bad shit, dude. Like, you know? I, uh, yeah, I, I wasn't the best kid, but I, I definitely wasn't riding on top of cars oh maybe. yeah dude. i'll still do we'll still that today my friend actually he actually passed away that that oh, friend of mine shit. but but no i mean like that's what i'm saying like he would have did it we'd have been we'd have been look going downtown mardi gras he'd be mm-hmm. like dude let's do the team we'll get in put white zombie on <laughs> Yep. Yeah, that black sunshine i at yeah i imagine <laughs> if somebody would have put black sunshine on for me i'd have been like you know what I don't even need a drink for this. Let's that's just, when let's we did it. Do that's it. that's when we that, every time Black Sunshine came on, that's when it happened. That's uh that's that's one of my speeding songs to be honest with you. Hey. Oh, hi. Hello. It's Trish. You wanna get on the mic? No. You scared? Get don't be scared. Fox gone. I can throw it away. I'll throw it away. You sure? Yeah. Thank you. I promise. Alright. <laughs> you sure you don't want to get on the mic? Come tell everybody, hey. Come, watch, come stand. Yeah, come, come, no, 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 just look. Come, <laughs> come up. Come what? Right here, just walk up to the mic and say, hello, everyone. No, really? <laughs> oh. What, what's your name again? Tell me your name again. Joanne. Joanne? Okay. Jo- Joanne, where, where are you from? Korea. Jo- Joanne's from Korea. She, she, she comes in every day at this time. 4.45. You too. You too. Such a sweet old lady. Dude, I would have loved for her. Went, Hello. <laughs> that would have yeah. been fun. Black Sunshine, though. That's uh, that's one of the songs I got to be careful with whenever it comes on, man. Because it ain't enough for me to just fucking oh, roll no, 80 down Johnson Street. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> There's a lot of songs like that. Oh, yeah. I've got I've got a list that's like specific. That's why I had to that. buy that car I got can't be hard in a car like oh, that. Oh, no, dude. I, <laughs> dude, I, I ruined a Lexus, man. Like, I had, I, had a, I had a Lexus, and we ruined that thing, dude. I mean, I, it was bad. When I traded it in, those guys were like, dude, what did you do in this thing? I was like, well. Teen Wolf. <laughs> teen, yeah, between Teen Wolf and, like, chasing railroads to take pictures and, like, t- chasing, like, trains. And yeah. we would ju- I think one time we jumped a track in Ooh. Columbia. Oh, dude, we did some wild shit in that car. Yeah, I'm just trying to imagine somebody jumping that train track right here off uh Scott, dude. Off Pecan Grove. Scott's Scott, the best yeah. one. Scott. That's what I was saying, the one right off uh, Pecan <laughs> Grove. Yeah. <laughs> I've done that one a couple times by accident because I didn't. I don't know, I just wasn't paying attention, you know, going 50 Scott's down the, the road. spot. <laughs> Everybody's going to blame me. What? Everybody's going to do, do it this weekend. Well, I, I was listening to this Scott, radio station, and Scott, Kevin told me to go jump Scott the train is track, the man. Spot. I'm, I'm serious. It really is the spot. <laughs> it is. It, when you ask me, we know exactly where we're going. No, really. Yeah. Just take some bird scooters off the train track, bro. 
No, I'm not going to tell people to do that because they, they'll think, you know, people don't, don't do really, that. Let me tell you something. Like, don't like do there's that, a couple guys. of blocks down the, from that little area in Scott. We used to go take photo shoots at night out there. Uh, and when the trains would pass, people don't realize this, but when you pa- when you're next to a train and it's going about, it's going a certain speed or, mm-hmm. you know, and it has like other things happening next to it. Yes. It creates a vacuum. And it, it will start sucking you in. Yeah. So if you're next to it and you're playing around and, you know, there is a reason why the railroad parts come down in the distance that they're in because mm-hmm. it, it will suck you in. And but, uh, I used to have to tell the, the people, like, you need to lean forward when the train starts passing because it's going to start bringing you back. And they go, you really? I go, yeah. My, uh, my sister lives in the, uh, the trailer park right around there. And, uh, there's been a couple times. Uh, actually, there was one that wasn't. It wasn't that long ago. It was mm-hmm. about probably about four or five years ago. Uh, there was a dude. I guess they don't know what happened. He was a John Doe. I don't think he was able to find out his identity, mm-hmm. but uh, committed suicide on that track, dude. Really? Just like lay down and just waited for the train to come. It was pretty bad. But uh, there's been oh, a they couple, get pissed. Oh, there, there was a couple of spills right there. Right no, they, too, they get know? mad. Where, where I would go, like, they would be on the other side, like, the security people, and they would be like, y'all, 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 y'all need to get out of there. They, they, they couldn't. I mean, the trains would pass them. Yeah. So we would hurry up and get in the garden and leave. <laughs> but I've got photos of it, man. Photos of, of, of beautiful models, six yeah. foot two, like, in front of a train going 55 miles an hour over there, like, yeah. in that area. And she's, like, got a $500 dress on, and she's, like, doing, yeah, pretty wild. Y'all, uh, please don't take any bird scooters off of there. Just be oh, aware, no, that, no, just be aware I, that the sheriff's the office is The bird scooters are about down. to go anyway. Y'all need to, y'all need to forget don't, about don't that. Don't go play around the train track, especially over there. The sheriff's oh, office isn't I, very far I, I found there, some so. better scooters than that, though. <laughs> I did. Like, I found some the other day, and, and, and they're pretty awesome. Yeah. Like, if you want a scooter, there's a much better place to get them. And you could own one. Yeah. You would own it. Like, you, you, you wouldn't rent it or anything. <clears throat> I mean, you, they, they, they cost about $200. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, and it's in, they come from, they come from Hong Kong, but they mainly sell them in the Philippines for some reason. And really? they, they have some companies in the Philippines that rent them huh. because there's some electric, they're electric, it's like an electric company and the company's called Star 8. And I, I researched it about two weeks ago and there's constantly, dude, they have a motorcycle that's electric. A really? real motorcycle, like like yeah, they have a little chopper one too. That's like really <laughs> wild looking, but the motorcycle is called the Pegasus. Pegasus, dude, it's cool. It's super cool, and I think that the the Philippines have these pesos or something. It's like twenty cents to the dollar, yeah. so you can buy something like that a lot cheaper. See, yeah, I think you could buy the motorcycle for like thirty eight hundred dollars or something, but. It, it, dude, it's cool. An electric bike, huh? An electric motorcycle. So it's, but they, dude, they have, they have carts, they have buses, city buses that you can, they're like 30 grand. Jesus. And you, it's like 55 people in the bus. Stick a road To trip, me, that's yeah. better than all this shit they, they're dealing with with these trolleys here. Yeah. But, I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know what it would take to bring them here. You know, you, there's so many weird regulations on stuff. I'm pretty sure it costs a good penny too to to ship it well, here. You know, it's not like they can just load it up on a plane. They may <laughs> just, they, you know. they, they may be be real pretty happy. No, they'd have to transport it yeah, like by by, by uh, ship. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, you'd have to go pick it up at a port, mm-hmm. and it's it's just what which port is it going to take for you to go get it? You know, the big buses though, they're pretty cool, but you have to charge them. Yeah, that's the that's the thing. You you'd have to put them on a transport and drive them. Yeah, and then get them here, and then once they're here, you have a place where you charge them. But the the scooters, they fold up. Really, they're that size. Yeah, and they fold up, and then they have another scooter that literally, if say you're walk, say you're driving, say you're in New Orleans and you've got your laptop and all their other bullshit, you put yeah. a school bag or whatever. They have a scooter with an actual suitcase on the front, hmm. and you just ride it, and your stuff is in the front. Yeah, and it balances it out. That's cool, it, dude. They have some really cool stuff. This company just made a flying car too. It kind of looks like really? a drone. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. 
I, it, I think they had a video. It was like a black little spider looking thing. Yeah. But they made that. But yeah, the really cool shit. It's called Star Eight. Star Eight. That's gonna be cool. I mean, it's gonna feel like I'm in the freaking Jetsons as soon as I start seeing you know flying cars around everywhere. That'd be crazy. It, it, That'd well, be crazy. I mean, know? it is kind of dude. To me, it's a little. I mean, you have f- propellers on the thing. Yeah. So like, if somebody kind of gets close to you, they're it's not gonna be. Uh, right. I don't imagine it'd be too. It's cool, but you know, you definitely have to uh, land it somewhere just kind of out of the way. Well, it's loud. Yeah. I'm yawning over here. But seriously, yeah, it's like yawning. <laughs> that shit's contagious. It ain't going to be long before I started. No, but seriously, like, um, what else? So you got a show coming up? I do have a show coming up. Uh, I haven't announced it yet. I should be announcing it sometime next oh, week. So stay tuned because we're going to yeah, talk about that tuned. again. But um, no, man. I mean, anything bothering you at Acadiana? Anything bothering me? <laughs> uh, let me see. I mean, now that I can think no. of, just besides the freaking traffic, man. The traffic's bad? Well, I mean, yeah. I deliver, is it really bad? I deliver pizzas right now until I get another job, which uh-huh. is another thing that kind of pisses me off. Jobs are hard to come by right now, even though everybody's hiring. But traffic can be stupid. Traffic. Well, I mean, you've seen it. <laughs> I, I don't. I'm not in a bunch of it, though, dude. I'm not really in a bunch of it. I don't know why. But holiday season comes around. Mardi Gras is about to come around. That's gonna be a. Uh, it's gonna be bad. Yeah, I, I. I mean, to me, I think that's why the bird thing is is on its way out because of Mardi Gras season. Yeah. Because that that could be a nuisance a little bit. That could know? yeah. That could very well be a. Uh... But dude, before they roll out, I'm getting a video of this screeching weird shit. Because <laughs> I, I want to hear that. I want to check that out pretty bad. Um, I, I got to experience it. Like I said, you know, it's it's not... You're not going to hear it from three blocks away, you uh-huh. know. Like, you just try to move it and it's just going to start, like, flashing and beeping. <laughs> and it's like, well, let's probably put the damn scooter down Dude, before you. <laughs> it reminds me of this, okay, back in the day, like, 1994, there was this dude who drove up to the place I was working at. And he, we did a lot of electronic work on cars and shit. So, like, like this guy wanted to show, he wanted to brag about his car. So... <laughs> This is when alarms. Everybody had to have a car alarm. Was that was that the Cobra alarm? No, the- <laughs> no, 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 no. And you know what? It could have been the Cobra module with a with an external like voice command. Yeah. But this is what it was. It was a dude. When you when you armed it, it armed. When yeah. you got close to the proximity of the car, there was this guy who would come on and he would say, "I know you want to look inside, but I." You best step away from the ride. <laughs> That's exactly what he would say. I'll never forget that. And it, and then out of nowhere, it would do it. It would say another rap. <laughs> so if, if you and if you hit the they had mic sensors and stuff in those yeah. like there's little microphones. So if you hit the glass, they I don't want to give anybody any ideas because like, I I mean we saw it firsthand like what people were doing to breaking cars and it was pretty bad. Yeah. But there were things that they would do to break glass that didn't make noises, but the mic sensors would pick it up. So we'd have to install them in certain places and things. So, like, it, if the alarm goes off, it would go, woo, 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 you know, it would make noise. Yeah. And then out of nowhere, it would be that dude's voice going, Someone's breaking in my ride. <laughs> Someone's breaking in my ride. Dude, it was hilarious. <laughs> hey, y'all. Y'all get some money. Y'all call the cops. Somebody's breaking my right. It was it was his voice saying, you know, get somebody's break. Dude, could you imagine how funny? Like we, I'll never forget how funny that was. That was some funny <laughs> shit. Just trying to imagine who I know. You want to look inside, but you best step away from the ride, dude. I, I'm. I mean, <laughs> could you imagine uh, being a thief? But just just thinking and about- walking up to that. Just thinking about it, I want a car alarm that's just Gilbert Gottfried screaming at you. <laughs> I mean, just, who are you, you schmuck? Get away from your car, yeah, dude! dude I, I'm telling you that 
They had a lot more cool <laughs> shit back in the day. Like I think in the eight, like eighties, nineties, pre, you know. But the one thing I don't remember as a kid, for some reason, is going to live music shows. Yeah, I don't remember that when I was younger. I didn't start going to live music until I was about um, until I was about eighteen. I mean, I'd been to like. Not festival international, but like little things, and like like different festivals or whatever, where there yeah. just happened to be somebody playing. But um, I, I mean, dude, I remember, I remember going to a couple of shows like here and there, and I, yeah. I remember driving here to see shows. The the first time I actually really started going, it wasn't too long after I had first met you because I started going to the station. Mm-hmm. That's you know, that's where I uh, was going. And then, uh, I remember yeah. the first, I, I'm not, I'm not originally from here. So like, yeah, you know, there's some of the shit that when people come to this town, they, they, they take for granted big time. Yes. Like I remember driving here for the first time and like, I'm real weird about biology. Like I learned a lot. Of, I, I know a lot about the, you know, anatomy and <laughs> I can't believe I'm about to say this, but like, I remember being in a car with like five or people and we all had the same biology teacher, and she had this real weird way of teaching us the reproductive system. <laughs> so we're all driving, and I was nowhere. Like I look up and I see the Hyman Center, and I look at I look back and I go, "Am I seeing this correctly?" <laughs> and they go, "Uh uh-uh. uh." I'm like, "That's weird, man. Like the Hyman Center." What? How would they call it down? Because if you look up what that is, yes, yeah, yeah, you kind of get thrown <laughs> up. Now, people people that aren't from here, they don't know that. Yeah, you know, and it's spelled differently too. But it kind of makes you like go, wait, what? Like this, st- <laughs> like Acadiana. If, if you've ever been on the phone with like GoDaddy, <laughs> <laughs> and you tell somebody Acadiana, they don't know what the hell that is. That's like Akada, Akada, Akadia. That's what they say. Akadia. Uh, how do you spell that? They don't know what that is. <laughs> but that's true. The Hyman Center is definitely one of them. We, dude, that sounds crazy. Like when you put it into perspective the and you Hyman think, Center. where are you going? Oh, dude, we're going to the Hyman Center. <laughs> like, mm, you better wash yourself before you Is come that an S and M bar? <laughs> Like what? Wait, where are you going? Is that a is that a satanic church? <laughs> what are y'all doing in there? Like, like to me, that's like pretty crazy. I, uh, then you have Hyman Boulevard. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was. Uh, I, I, people were probably like these motherfuckers have to be stoned, but we're not. I'm not. I'm. I'm I am drug free. I have some spearmint essence oils in in the room. <laughs> <laughs> there was a. Uh, you you. Yeah, he was over there Saturday at uh, the Freetown Boom Boom Room. Yeah. Uh, with the funeral horse guy. Yeah, with funeral horse. The funeral horse Switch guy Blade did Jesus. the absinthe, and I didn't see him again. Oh, that dude was all over the place, man. Oh, dude, he, he was, was everywhere. I he was everywhere and nowhere. I was screaming in my, in my phone. <laughs> he was everywhere and nowhere. He was he, he, he was feeling good that night. But I went uh, I went to Crowley to go pick up a friend mm-hmm. of mine, and for some reason, the, the, the reception out there in Crowley is just garbage. So like I was, phone reception? Yeah, phone reception. Oh. So I was trying to put into my phone, because I never go to Crowley, so I kind of got lost. I was trying to put in my phone how to get back to mm-hmm. Lafayette. So since it didn't work, I was like, well, let me see if my OnStar is still, is still on, and I'm going to just get the directions into my truck. So I call in, and I push the button. They're like, yeah, I said, hey, I need to get some uh, some directions somewhere. She goes, okay, well, where are you looking at going? I said, uh, I said well, I'm a... Uh, I'm going to the uh, the Freetown Boom Boom Room. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And uh, dude, we need to she, do she the pa- Hyman Center to on star. <laughs> she paused for like five seconds and like, then just like joking with just me. like could not stop laughing. And I was like, "Yes, ma'am. I'm I'm sorry that I had to say that, but it is a real place." She goes, "Is it in La- it Lafayette?" I'm like, "Yes, ma'am. It's in Lafayette, Louisiana." And she just just could not stop laughing. I'm like, she was laughing. Oh, dude, she would not stop. I mean, for like a solid two and a half minutes while I was on the phone while she was getting directions sent to my truck, just laughing about the boom boom room. And uh, 
I was I I didn't know what to say. I was like, "Yes, ma'am." I know it's it's funny. Then I started laughing, and then my friends started laughing, and then it was just a big clusterfuck of everybody laughing at the boom boom. But room. dude, we really take it for granted. Like, it's true. <laughs> like when people come here and they see Kylie's saloon, what the hell is that shit? How the hell like, do you see like, that? What the hell is that? Like, like what you know? Like, it's <laughs> I remember my dad trying to talk my dad into coming here the first time I ever got. Um, he's like. Caliste Salem? <laughs> I was like, no, that's not it. Like, there's shit that you only know when you live here. I was uh, I was trying to find the quick way over here, so I typed in my GPS on how to get over here. And I was coming from the dealership, and uh, it was like, you know, in half a mile, turn left onto Araste Landre. And right. I'm like, what the hell did you just right. say? The only time I've ever heard... The GPS really say something from Louisiana that sounds weird, right? Was probably New Orleans when it said the turn of the Chapatula Street. And I'm like, holy shit, Siri, if I could high five you, I would. Because she actually said it right. So I was I was very surprised by that because there's people from Louisiana that don't even know how to freaking say that, you know? Yeah, they they, they don't. But, like, I, I just, I would have loved to have heard, where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to the Freetown Boom Boom <laughs> Which, which speaking of, is where the show is going to be when I make my announcement, what, so I will what, be. What are you actually going to do there? Oh, we're going to see Funeral Horse and Switchblade Jesus. You know, like, <laughs> yeah. like you, 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 she, what would she have done? Yeah, that was a... But it sounds... Was, it. We have a lot of weird made-up shit here. Uh-huh. Like, that you, you you would be like, wait, wait what is that? Was, yeah. <laughs> but no, the, the guy from Funeral Horse, I saw, he did the absinthe, and he had never done it. Yeah, I, I, first time doing it, and, and I, I was to, like watching him. I was like, "Dude, I really want to do it with you, but I'm not going to drink anymore after I do it." I try to warn people about absinthe because it's not it's like strong, regular dude. alcohol. Well, like it's strong, but it's not regular alcohol. Like it's it's a it's a stimulant. It's not a depressant. No, so to be like when I take it, it pounds my head a little bit. Yeah, it like it's like it's hammering your your brain mm-hmm. to where you know you don't want to drink absinthe and it go back to like rum. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like that, and that's the thing. I drink rum when I go to the Boom Boom Room, and, and yeah. New Orleans rum, by the way. Well, Nobody you, has it. That's why. Were you were you drinking the the? Uh, were you drinking it straight, or were you doing it with the sugar cubes? Well, you have to drink it straight. With the, the absinthe? Yeah. You haven't done it with the sugar cubes? Yeah. Do it with the sugar cubes. Well, no, time. I have. Yeah. I did all of them. All right. Yeah. I did I did one of? <laughs> I, that's what I wrote that thing about them. Yeah. I wrote. I went for two weeks and I tried every single one of them. Really? Yeah. <laughs> and 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 you do have some interesting dreams, but you don't hallucinate like no. you, you know. It's just pure to me. It, <laughs> I I thought it was fun. I thought it was fun to me. I could have used a little hallucination, but you know, I mean, it's true. Like you know, I mean, I mean, how fun would it have been to have you know you do the absent? Because abs to me, after you do the absent, you're not drinking anymore. Well, and if you no. do another one, you're gonna be asking for for it. Had, you're gonna get. You might get a little. Your head might either start. You might get a headache. I had a buddy. He came over one day. I don't remember who the hell was playing that night. It was at the Boom Boom Room, and uh, I was telling him about. It. I was like, "Hey man," I said, "You trying to do the apps?" And he goes, "What the hell is that?" And I explained it to him, and he just he made a quick one eighty. Went back inside the bar and got he him got one. one. Yeah, and so we was all just kind of standing outside and shooting the shit. And he comes outside, and he's got a glass in his hand with the absinthe. And he's just, whoa! He's freaking screaming his head off. I'm like, he's having a good time. I'm like, damn. I was like, you feeling good, man? He's like, yeah, man. I said, well, how many you had to drink? He was like, this is my fourth one right now. Oh, I was no, like, oh, dude. bro. He was going to be <laughs> oh, He would have been bro. wasted. I was like, I'm going to have to drive you home, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah. he, he Dude, I, have to, I couldn't do more than two of those. I wouldn't want to. Because it's, it's so clean, you really just don't want to go and, and drink nothing less. Yeah. So... I don't know. To me, it's 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 good. It's it, but you you're done for the night. Like you know, you do it at one o'clock, you're good. Yeah. Like yeah. to me, like you you know, you you might not want to drive, depending on what you can drink. But yeah. To me, like you know, one o'clock, you, and you and you you're really feeling good. Like you want to go home and just chill out and sleep, and and wake up on Sunday at like maybe five o'clock in p.m. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> do, do you, uh, have you ever, but, go ahead. Have you ever drank Red Stripe? Yeah. The beer. Uh, 
I don't want to mess with it because I don't really drink beer that much. If I do, I'm just. I don't really like it. it too much. My brother used to drink that shit like crazy. <laughs> Uh, my dad said that he had tried it one time, and he hasn't tried it again since then. He said he drank one. I don't remember what he was at. He was in New Orleans or something, or he might have been at work. Uh-huh. And uh, he said he had a really weird freaking nightmare that night. <laughs> For some reason, he he met Manny Pacquiao in his dream. Oh, my God. And uh, he was like... Manny Pacquiao kind of throws... Throw, it's kind of you saw a weird video he put online yesterday. I don't think I did. No, Manny Pacquiao put he put a picture he put a video. Somebody was walking ahead of him, and he was apparently at a basketball game, and he. I don't know wh- who it was, but they looked at him and they were walking and they said, "Hey, Roy and Roy Jones, Roy not Roy Jones, the dude he fought Mayweather." Yeah, was sitting in the front row and Manny was walking behind him. <laughs> And Manny went to tell him, like, hey, with a, with a high five or a, just a handshake. And, and Mayweather would not give him a handshake. He kind of just threw the fist at him. And then he, he put his fist to his chest and, like, kind of bumped it a little bit. Like, what's up? He wouldn't, give him, wouldn't, wouldn't shake his hand. Hmm. Which is weird. Yeah. But at the same time, like, they slow mo it for you to see what they did. But it's like, <clears throat> what, what was that about? Yeah, like, what was, what was that whole thing it? about? Like. It was strange. The other thing that I find very odd was this weird shit Joey Durrell put online yesterday. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta read this man because it, it, it's still. I'm gonna help. You're gonna have to help me with this one because I'm, I'm, I'm still lost on this one. <laughs> it was four in the morning when I read this, and I shared it on. I have this dumb ass page called Katie and the Social where yeah. I share all the stupid shit I see on Facebook. Some of it's meaningful, but some of it's really dumb. But yesterday, for some reason, I saw this Joey Durrell post, and and it was right after the bird scooter thing, so it seemed like he was making maybe playing fun with the bird scooter thing. Yeah. I but you never know, man. You know. But what I found interesting about the whole bird scooter post was this. Okay, here we go. You ready? Yeah. Help me with this one because <clears throat> I, I really am thrown off by this. Yeah. And nobody nobody said anything after I wrote this. So it says, I am happy to announce that we will be launching a new homegrown business here in Lafayette. But while we start in Lafayette Parish, we have every expectation that others will be begging for our concept. It is called GOAT. G-O-T-E! Exclamation point. I'm like, okay, we will be putting lawnmowers all around Lafayette Parish (laughs) for all the people that don't want to buy their own. I want to thank the City Parish Council for agreeing to allow this in a special called secret meeting. It passed seven to two. And since they function as a parish council, we are automatically able to get in all of our towns of the parish. Our lawnmowers will be all electric and painted to look like fur. Look like fur? God (laughs) damn it. Our expected rollout date is April 1st. The app should be available (laughs) soon so that you can book yours in advance. Keep an eye out. It will be in your neighborhood before you know it. I I don't know if I would. It's definitely a a joke. It's got to be a joke. It's got to be. April 1st, I mean, why would you choose that date? Plus, if they were to do it, I imagine that freaking laugh you had wouldn't end up looking like. I don't know, Jennings or something, where people just ride lawnmowers to the corner store. To get well, no, but, but this is where it gets funny, right? Like, when you go back and you look at the comments, people believed it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. Like, they really did. Like, I wrote, yes or not really. Next will be drones that deliver alcohol during festivals. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you could you could pitch which, that idea. which I'm you sure probably... look, you know what I, I I shouldn't have wrote it but you know what hey I got a feeling that might happen let's do it I'm bro. sure <laughs> I'm sure it could happen I start a GoFundMe to get this ready a freaking um yeah we could do that get video. later hose and make yeah. that video <laughs> you, you know they say you, your GoFundMe video has to be perfect it can't be bad at all it has to be absolutely immensely perfect like the, the way that they explain shit yeah. That's why I've never done anything like that. <laughs> I'm like, 
Okay, they're just too incredibly happy when they're explaining the process like <laughs> on on this. But let's go to the post, right? This is where it gets funny. This is how you know that Lafayette is very trendy and they want to, they're a big following town. They don't they don't really they don't really they don't really trend anything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's kind of interesting cuz it's always the same people underneath writing shit. <laughs> You ever notice that? Like, the same people always under the comments. It's got 181 likes, by the way. And it says, Always love attending those secret council meetings. Somebody wrote, This is cool. (laughs) Somebody writes, It's like Uber, but for lawn care. (laughs) I hear it fertilizes, too, where the IPO, where's the IPO go public? I'm like, and people, you know, you're absolutely too funny. I can't wait. You can ride them on Interstate 10. <laughs> awesome. Need some hovercrafts to ride down Evangeline Thruway next. Can we leave weed eaters on Ambassador Caffrey in phase two of this genius concept? Incredible idea. You need to make this where I can share it. Very funny. This is awesome if it's not a joke. Somebody actually wrote that. <laughs> because many need it. It would be great if we could pay to have others' lawns cut. Example, elderly loved ones that can't do it themselves. And somebody writes, Drew Hell never jokes around. <laughs> <laughs> okay. he, he never jokes around. Well, maybe in passing, this man is awesome. I'm like, oh, shit. What a novel adventure. Dude, I mean, like, literally, how many people really believe this shit? As, as soon as he said April 1st, I'm like, there's no way. There's no way. Well, as soon as he said it was going to be looking like fur. I, yeah, I was as soon like, as he okay. said that, I was like, all right, go. You know, you know the whole thing, you know. Then again, it is Louisiana. But, dude, there's like, some weird shit like that there's, too, like, so. all kind of comments on this, you know? I I feel like, you know. I don't know. When you look at this and you look at the city you live in, sometimes I just think to myself, like, why? We really need some good ideas. Somebody <laughs> wrote, I think you've been hacked. I think that's the best one. <laughs> um, but you know what I'm saying? Like, like, and it, it, it does make sense. It's kind of funny because it's like, you know, the same day that the, 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 the bird scooter thing kind of isn't working anymore. Yeah. I, I think that's probably why it was funnier to me. But I had to kind of throw it in there. It was like, yes or not really. You know, will there be drones that deliver alcohol during festival? <laughs> to me, that's actually not a bad idea. But because I could, I could see people doing that. Yeah. You know, especially if the drone stands there while it holds your beer. Say, bro, I got a freaking people drone. People would pay big it, money for that shit. <laughs> the beer holder drone? Dude, I'm telling you, they would do it. Yeah, I could see that. Plus, if you like... I, I, I say think, if you're like at Festival International, you know, and then, oh, you're, then, then you're like at the stable drill, you know, the huge one, you're right there in the middle of the crowd, you're like, hey. Bro, or the just... Acura stage at Jazz Fest. <laughs> you got the drone folks out there and yeah. like literally sending out draft beer <laughs> to the table and you, you, you call them up on the phone and give them a credit card number. Dude, they make a killing. You, you could take that Miller Lite truck they got that opens up in three <laughs> levels and, like, get on the top with the drones and shit, and you got the beer going. Mm-hmm. And, dude, like, see, I'm telling you, this is this is, this is is wind up happening. Watch. Let's Somebody's going to hear this and go, dude, this guy, who is this guy? Let's freaking take it before they do. You know, just pay me a couple dollars. <laughs> I'm in. I'll even help you. I'll even buy advertising for it. I'll put my ads on it. <laughs> put Put an advertisement on it. And then we'll put <laughs> at the bottom of the cup. At the bottom of the cup, it'll say, "Follow us to the boom boom room." <laughs> what the hell are these people talking about? Dude, these people are crazy in Lafayette. What's wrong with these people? Look, that's that damn Hyman Center. That damn Hyman Center, dude. I'm telling you, when I saw that for the first time, <laughs> I was done. I was like, "Wow," you know. I'll never forget, and this is how they take it for granted. One of my neighbors actually was married to one of them. They call them the Hymans. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, I'm sorry. That's funny. You know, when you look at the, the biological... Uh-huh. Okay. Like, you know, like, 
And one, of, I'll never forget when he was smoking a cigar outside one day, and I was doing some like I was cutting some what do you call them like things that grow vines and shit they grow on the, like walls. Mm-hmm. I was cutting all that yeah. back because they let it grow too much. I, I was cutting it back. So, hi, my name's so and so. I was married to one of the Hyman sisters. <laughs> 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 Shit. <laughs> it's true um, I was like okay <laughs> you know I was dude I went to a function the other day this that's how people forget like they they don't think about it you know what they're saying but it, it is a, a name I get it you know and it's a, it's a prominent name here too which yeah. I get there's a Rodrigue in the <clears throat> alumni house at UL probably one of the coolest Rodrigues I've seen and, and there's the, the one of the daughters apparently that apparently used to be their house or something. I think that it was donated or something. I, I, from what I understand, that's what I think. And the big painting inside of it by the by the piano room has got the daughter painted with USL. On it's got a USL sash on. It's really yeah. neat looking. Nobody's ever seen that. I don't think too much. I don't know if they've been in there to see it, but probably one of the coolest pictures I've seen that Rodri did. Yeah, that I've seen. You know, um, but yeah, the home of Hyman Center, the home of Freetown Boom Boom Room. What else? Uh, I don't think Marcello's Wine Market. They don't have that anywhere either. Judy's Sin. They don't really have that anywhere. Reds. You yeah, know, definitely not a Reds. Like, oh, red but Lareo. but that's the thing too. Like, if you're not from here, you're Mom like knows. thinking to yourself, Reds. What the hell is that? You know, that doesn't sound like a gym. Yeah, I know. But once again, you know, Lanyos. you got to be here. Yeah. You got to be here to understand it. You know, so. I think, uh, what was I going to say? Last week I did something pretty, uh, pretty crazy. I got to, I got the drink for free. So, you know, I got wine and dine. That was pretty cool. Um, Where? At the sheriff's office, actually. <laughs> Doing what? <laughs> so basically what it was, uh, my mom worked for the sheriff's office. Uh-huh. And uh, she had called me up because my truck was in the shop uh, getting fixed or something. Uh, oil pan, e- either way. She called me. She says, hey, you have to work tonight. I said, well, I can't. I said, because my truck's in the shop. She goes, okay, who well, do you want to drink for free? I'm like, Come uh, get a steak. I'm, I'm like, I'm like, fuck yeah. You're like getting in trouble. You're like getting trouble saying this, mm-hmm. aren't you? No, 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 because they were, they were asking people for it. Okay. So, um. Come get a ticket and to the <laughs> station. It was, it was, it was a controlled thing. So right. Basically, what they were doing, where they it was were looking to <laughs> yeah. at the police station. Yeah. So what it was was uh, this is like the only place in the world <laughs> that exists. So what it was, they were uh, looking for people to come in, and they were monitoring how much you drank. Uh huh. And they didn't have like steaks or thing, but it was like you know, like like finger foods, like like little chips and cheese and crackers uh-huh. and stuff like that. So what they were doing is they would write down what you had to drink and how much you had to drink of it, like. Three, you know, like three ounces or whatever of this, two ounces of that. And what they wanted to do was they wanted to get you to a certain blood alcohol content. Oh, to fuck with you. Kind of. Dude, but not, but I not really. I fucking had a blast with that shit. Well, it, it, it was fun because, I, you know, I hardly have a drink. I don't, I don't so, really dude, drink anymore. Okay, this is interesting to me. Okay, like, you get a <laughs> phone call from your mom. And she's like, I'm and she's like hey, you want to drink for free? <laughs> and I'm like, fuck, well, right. yes, I do. You're going to be a Nazi guinea pig for us. <laughs> I <laughs> fucking love you at the sheriff's department. So, <laughs> like some freaking Heimler shit. They, like some, they, <laughs> some Herbert Heimler <laughs> shit. Dude, what the hell is going on in this town? Well, That's like, crazy. Like, 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 I, 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 I'm, I'm going to explain some it to Himmler. you. Himmler. Let I'm me a, get that right. Himmler. I don't want to go by the I'm going to explain to you what it, what this, it was. So. Dude, the next time y'all do this... Invite Kevin, please, because <laughs> I will go and do like eighteen Jack and Cokes, and, God, we, well, and they're going to go. Post to us because I was asking if anybody like wanted to, to come drink for free, dude. So uh, we're drinking, and it was it was at the course of like three or four hours. You know, I got I'll bring a Ouija day. board. To the <laughs> <police station. laughs> I thought it was going to be bad, but no, they. I, I was the one that drank the most, but you know, I, I blew the. I blew the least. I had like... Oh, my God. I had like nine you drinks. You blew the least. <laughs> shut, shut up. All right. Okay, go All right. Ahead. Okay. Yeah. I, I had like nine drinks. No beer. It was like all straight liquor, you know, like rum and whiskey and vodka. It was uh, it was all of that. So, uh... 
uh, after a while, they were like, they took our, they made us, you know, do a breathalyzer test, and then watched where, uh, made us watch the tip of their pins to check our eyes, you know, and stuff. <laughs> so, they did that to us once, and then about an hour and a half later, they did it again. And so, we were guinea pigs, because this they took us crazy, to, dude. they took us into another room where we were pretty, you know, we were feeling good, you know, drunk, not, not, How many not too far gone. many people did this? There was, uh... There were six of us. Did you know any of these people? No, I didn't. I didn't. Any women? Yeah, there was a uh, there was two women and uh, an older guy. He was probably about sixty something years old. And oh, he dude. was he was just staying like drinking beer. I'm like he just he literally came there just to drink because he so, didn't drink any alcohol. They, they made they made him drink one alcoholic drink. I'm like paid to you know? be in this thing. <laughs> but what it was was they uh, took us into that other room and they were going to have new. Uh, New recruits basically come in to do field sobriety testing. Oh my god! That way they were able to do to it in a controlled like, environment before they did it on the road. You in know, the field to see how fucked up people can be. Yeah, they, they were like, well, you know, oh some people god. might might have been drinking, but they're they're still you know able to Dude, to comprehend is... what's going on. You know, so they was you know saying like, you know, follow the tip of the pen. They made us do you know the walk in a straight line, balance on a leg, and uh, <laughs> how, how did you do? I did. I did really good, but uh, I mean, you know me. Like I'm, I'm fucking extra, so I got to be stupid and I have to mess with some of the cops. <laughs> did they tell you like to be in, like sarcastic? Or no, something? they didn't. But I am. I'm kind of sarcastic myself, so I'm explaining to this one that I did. All right. So this, uh, there was like five groups, and they would do it on one person, and then they would rotate. So I, it was my last group, and uh, they came up, and the guy was like. All right, sir. You know how you doing? And I was like, I was like, I know my rights. Are you arresting me? You know, just fuck it with him like that. And he was like, No, sir. I'm like, Well, I want to speak to an attorney. You know, <laughs> just, just just messing with him. He's like, Okay, well that makes it easy. Acting like he was gonna put me in handcuffs. They didn't have any handcuffs on him. And I was like, All right, you know, I'll get up and actually take my take my uh, I know my, my glasses rights. off. <laughs> and so this is where it's a trapment from the start. Y'all fucking told me to come here. I got the recording. This is this is where it got interesting for that one dude, and I made I made probably about fifteen people laugh. <laughs> so the guy was like, "All right," he goes, "Now before we start, is that do you have any medical conditions that we need to know about?" And I was like, "Uh, uh." I would have said explosive well, diarrhea. No, this is what I said. I said, "Uh, well, uh, I said I have bofa," oh, and he shit. he says. Would you care to elaborate? And by this point, there's already like three or four of the other guys in the group laughing. And I said, uh, both of these nuts. And you can, <laughs> you can hear just freaking everybody in the group's just laughing. There was one of the, one of the actual like, like higher up sheriffs. I could just see him in the corner of the room and he just put his hands on his head. Just like, did this motherfucker really just say this? And yeah. the guy looked at me and he was like, okay, well, I, I walked straight into that one. I'm like, yeah, you did. Just like you walked into these nuts and just... Yeah, so that was my that was my little fun time last week. Got to drink and it started with microwave toast. It started with microwave toast. Yes, it did. Just remember that, <laughs> but dude, I'm telling you that that reminds me of the book that I wrote. In What's a way, that? it's kind of strange, but I it, it wrote this book about uh, it talks about this thing called the alcohol entity, and it, it's very interestingly weird, but. It it reminds I don't know why it pops in my head like that book popped in my head just like when you were explaining this but it's like you know oh we all got drunk and the next thing you know we walked into they brought us in another room <laughs> I was like oh my god because they interrogate the actual thing that is the alcohol yeah in the book they ask it questions and shit and it doesn't <laughs> want to answer the questions it's like against its will and it's very. Very, very weird. That sounds weird, yeah. It's very it sounds, strange. It sounds interesting. It is. It is. It, it's It's not bad. Don't get me wrong. I mean, but it is very strange. Yeah. You, 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 uh, it, it's, I wrote, it's, I guess it's written to be in the mindset of knowing, like, basically if you process the information, kind of like what they're doing. Yeah. They're processing how bad it could be under the influence of you being under the influence, but under them are all they are also under the influence because it's harder for somebody sober to deal with somebody drunk. Yes, 
And you never know. Yeah, it's Look, you got irate man. people too. They get drunk. Mm-hmm. Next thing you know, you know, you you got a son of a bitch trying to run. <laughs> I'm serious. It's not, like, it's, you, yeah, it's not always the know, best idea. Though. No, I mean they run in and next thing, you guys are chasing after them and shit, and <laughs> you know it's like crazy. It's kind of crazy. So it's you know I. I don't know. I mean, I, I I know that it's not easy being a police officer because some of the, just the, some of the stuff I've seen them deal with is pretty wild. Yeah. You know, like, um, but I don't know, especially here. The people here are just, you know, in other places, other than maybe New Orleans, New Orleans is probably the hardest place to be a police officer. I imagine it would be, yeah. Uh, I, I would have to just, pl- agree. Like, it's, it's, it's a... Uh... New Orleans is a whole different. It's a whole different. Yeah, it's out it's there. a whole other world in general. Like, because you've got people from all over the world there, mm-hmm. and you know, Vegas, I'm sure, could be difficult, but New Orleans is definitely going to take that cake. Yes, to me. Yeah, definitely. Because I've been to all these places, and I've you got know. A, I've got a friend that lives out in Reno, and she's always talking about the weird people out there. Oh yeah, and so I went out to. Cause they're all, to, you know, they're all busting their ass, like losing money and trying to find money to go pay yeah. rent and shit. So I went, I went to <laughs> Reno uh, last month just for a little like week long vacation, and uh, she was like, "Oh yeah, no, this place is like the ghetto," and she kept playing all the, referring to all these places to the ghetto. And I'm like, "This fucking place is nice." I'm like, "You've never really been to the you ghetto been before." In the ghetto. Like this, this is the ghetto. What are you talking about? And then she was talking about all the weird people, and I'm like, "I'm like, you should come to New Orleans because yeah. you're gonna really find out what." What fucking weird people is right? Yeah, no, I agree with you 100 percent on that one. Like, to me, you're right. To me, the 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 the, the, the world really doesn't know what weird is until you come here and experience at least seven cities. Yes, we can go to New Orleans, Mamou, Lafayette, Homa, <laughs> Homa. I grew up in Homa. Yeah, yeah. You so should. you know, and I mean, I and I know, like, it's true. Like, Homa is a very weird place now. There's places outside of home that are even weirder. <laughs> but, you know... Jennings. Good God. Jennings is probably interesting, yeah. Like, 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 you know, I'm trying to think of a spot that I would... Crowley. <laughs> Crowley is weird, dude. It's, it is. I'll never forget going to Crowley one time for the Rice Festival. <laughs> and I, was, I was in a car, and I think I was in my... I had a Jeep at the time. I went and, and I was driving my Jeep and then out of nowhere I honked my horn. Just I just honked my horn. <laughs> you know? Cop pulled me off. Gets out the car. I mean literally stereotypical looking like freaking Buford T. Justice walk <laughs> and shit. And I mean, seriously, I'm not even being an asshole. I'm just yeah. saying like you know, acting like the part. The whole part. Like could be a perfect Buford T. Justice actor. Yeah. Gets to my car, and he's like, you're not from here, are you? (laughs) (laughs) Said, no, I'm not. Where are you from? I said, well, I live in Lafayette. He goes, that's what I thought. I said, what does that mean? (laughs) He goes, we don't honk our horns here. (laughs) I said, what does that mean? (laughs) We don't honk our horns. I said, well, yes, y'all do. I said, people honk horns in in this town. I said, this doesn't mean that when people go to Crowley, they don't honk their horn. I said, that doesn't even make sense. He got all pissed at me. Like, I can give you a ticket. I said, sir, I just honked my horn. What did I do? You know? That's why I, I, I when I hear people complain about the shit they get from police, I'm like, oh, I can only imagine. <laughs> I remember, you know, depending on what state you go to, it's even worse. You know, I've had I've had many cops pull their guns on me because really? just oh yeah, like really weird shit. Like I remember one time, like let me tell you another difference from this town. Like you talked about some of the funny shit, goofy, stupid shit. Here's a good thing: <laughs> jumper cables. <laughs> let me tell you, dude. I've been in cities where a battery has gone dead. And you go up to somebody and ask them for some jumper cables. And I had a cop pull a gun on me because I asked him for jumper cables one time at a state park in Los Angeles. Jesus. I, I, I was like, okay, maybe I don't need the jumper cables. Have a good day. 
<laughs> I'll never forget that, dude. I just walked up to him. I was like, sir, do you have any jumper cables? He grabbed his left side, like his radio. Yeah. He pulled his radio out, pulled his gun out, like, and held it down towards the ground. And I, I looked at him and I was like, dude, I just need you to give me some jumper cables. It's not really that big of a deal. Never mind. Have a good day. I just don't worry. <laughs> like, have a good day. <laughs> you know what I mean? Cables that goddamn bad. And he never even said anything. He, like, put his radio in front of his mouth and had his gun pointed down. And I was like, was is this shit really happening? <laughs> like, that's what I'm thinking to myself. In San Diego. That, that happened in San, at a state park in San Diego. And then I looked at my... my and then look, it's funny, too, because you can tell people that are from there and the ones that aren't. And you walk up to people in the street and they go, hi, how you doing? Would you, by any chance, have jumper cables? And you immediately see four people. Two people are, like, enthusiastic. The other two people are scared to death. <laughs> like, one of them was like, no, 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 we don't have any. Like, like that. Like, really freaked out. I, I, like, I remember I walked back and I was like, Dad, just, we got to find a phone. He's like, why? I said, because... <laughs> people aren't the same here they're different like they're not it's not it's not what we think it is we need to call a rental car company and like like tell them that the, the problem they got a problem he's like what do, you, what do you mean i said well i got a gun pulled on me and i got somebody that literally looked like they wanted to die because i asked them for jumper cables because they were so scared like but that's the thing like you just never know yeah you know because it's true you can get jumper cable next thing you know you're dead mm-hmm. you're robbed or you know Got uh, a gag in your mouth with a, uh, you know, yeah, like, like Bruce Willis <laughs> hitting people with a sword and shit. But you know what I'm saying? But that's true. Like, it, you know, strange things happen, you know? Like, but don't ask anyone for jumper cables in California. Just mannerisms in but general. But here, as soon as you get out of the You side, can you ask know? anyone for jumper cables in a parking lot, dude. And they're like, oh, shit, here. Hey, I tell you what, keep them. <laughs> I'm like, okay. That's weird. It, it, it's very different. Yeah. In that way here. I noticed that definitely like when I was out in Reno and I would hold the door open for people. They, they probably they, think you were nuts. like, what the fuck is like, What's wrong with this fucking one? guy? You know? Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a whole different world out there. And, mm-hmm. that's, and when I try to explain people like Southern manners, I'm like, I'm like Southern hospitality. I'm like, it's, it's legit. Like, well, you know. It, <laughs> to me, it's not even that. It's just like kind of moralistic. I mean, I, I don't know. To me, like, you know, I... I could beat the shit out of you, and I'll still hold the door open for you yeah. whenever we, we walk out the door. Or if I say, like, over there, I would say, yes, ma'am, yes, sir, no, ma'am, no, sir, and people looked at me like, what the hell? Probably because like, it it's just unexpected, you know? Like, yeah. Like, because, you know, people, I don't know, man, you just never know with well, that. People would tell me, like, well, you're making me feel old. I'm like, well, I got to say it. Like, I have to, like, force myself not to say ma'am or sir. Yeah, they, because if not, I because if I don't say it, I still imagine in the back of my head getting fucking hit upside the head after not saying. Oh, I, no I mean, sir, you know, I mean, I I never, yeah, my my mine were really, mine were, I don't know, I guess mine were a little bit, but not much, not like that. They weren't, they weren't <laughs> that bad, but I mean, because I did a lot of, I I didn't really do a whole lot of bad shit. I was just more interested in learning shit. Mm-hmm. So I would go take shit apart, and people it would make people mad because I would take all their shit apart. <laughs> but I'd put it right back together. Yeah. So it's, but it, there is a lot of interesting things here that don't happen in the rest of the world. Crawfish is another one. You know, like I was driving yeah. Abbeville today, I saw those crawfish traps. I was like, I don't even eat crawfish, but I just I, get excited. I, I, it, you, you know, know? <laughs> dude, I don't eat crawfish either. I, I'll eat them. If I have to write something or something, but I, I mean, it's not something I'm I'm creaming in my pants over. Yeah. Like people really get stupid over that. Um, to me, I, I don't know. You know, to, <laughs> I'm cool with a hamburger. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'd rather have. That's that's a question I have to ask you before we shut this down. What what are your first, top three favorite hamburgers in Acadiana? My top three favorite hamburgers in Acadiana. All right. <clears throat> I was actually just talking this the other day because I delivered to the guy that... Or more, that, I don't that, care. I was delivered to the guy that, that runs Grub. Uh-huh. And uh, I like Grub Burgers. Grub Burgers are really good. I find that uh, Brodus probably has the best burgers. You think so? I think he does. I, I Like, I like Judy's. 
I really do like Judy's. I do but, too. But the burgers are like very. Well, you gotta have the sauce, dude. If they don't have the sauce, it ain't, it ain't the, good. They're like really greasy, and it soaks through the burger. So? It, 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 I find it just I soaks through the bun. Greasy. I find grub burgers are greasy. So well, when, time. like when I every time I go to get Judy's, uh-huh. it it just like soaks through the bun. So it's just like just a big flopping uh-huh. mess of a bun, you know. Uh-huh. I, but I'd probably say Brodus. Grub burger to me is one. better with sh- with chopped onions. I not fuck up some chopped onions. Now I gotta have onions. I don't. I, I'm, I, it, when you stick all them grilled onions, and it makes everything so soggy and shit. Yeah. Dude, I'm I'm good. But um, I'd say probably Brodus number one, and uh, I'd say somewhere between a tie for um, second place with Judy's and Grub, and number three. Who the hell was it that I had that one time? Uh, probably Ground Patty. Ground Patty, if I was getting some Yeah, burgers. but you got to clarify which one. The one off of Kali Saloon. You think so? I think so. Dude, you really need to come eat hamburgers for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, I like to cook my own burgers, you know, but no, as far no, as no, like, I going get it, out, you I know. get it, but I'm telling you, dude, you, I'm telling you, dude, the one, the, the, people don't know that the Johnson Street one and the Kali Saloon one are different. Yeah, they're different. The burgers are completely different. Oh, but but they are different, and they they completely are different. The cheese, especially, is probably the the mm. biggest difference to me. But no, I, I yeah, dude. I I mean, there's some there's okay. Wait, what? No, what's that? What's that one other place? Um, I'm gonna have to look it up. There's a there's a there's a place in River Ranch. I can't remember what it's called. Burger Smith. Burger Smith. That one, I'm going to say, is going to have to take it's the place. It's not bad. It's not bad. I'm going to say that one takes the place. It's pricey, daddy. but it's not bad. Yeah, I like the bison burger, though. The bison burger is yeah, really good. Yeah, bison's good anywhere, dude. Bison's good shit. That's what I Bison think. steak is, is where it's at. I think that's what I would say. Brodus, tie for second with Judy's and Grub and mm-hmm. Burger Smith. Yeah, I, I, um, <laughs> I had this crazy-ass idea for a 5K one time. To, in River Ranch, you start at the front of Camellia. Yeah, you, you call it "Run for the Burger." <laughs> <laughs> you get all these dudes like, like you get you get you got to run all the way to Burger Smith. <laughs> <laughs> run for the burger, dude! Can you imagine? And do it for like a charity, and do everything in slow mo. <laughs> like all the dude, all everybody gets in a line, and they they have to run, and they get everybody in slow mo, and they got to run the whole good distance of the of the top of the street to the front to the back, and they have this big festival at Burger or Burger Smith. They're gonna wind up doing that shit one day. Watch, I'm telling you, they're gonna be like, man, this guy said this thing one day. Uh, to me, that's a funny festival. Yeah, that people would show up to just to do it. To me, run for the burger, dude. I'm telling you right now, that would be hot. I'm in. That I'm all over it. Yeah, I'm fat, but I feel like I would do that just for a burger. Yeah, and and, and every once in a while, you you kind of got to do to break up the you know like people need to do shit like that because it brings them together. Yeah, festivals bring people together, but burgers really bring people together. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's true. Like when you get a bunch of people eating burgers, it's that's like serious. It's better than a lot of other shit that mm-hmm. goes on. Really, anytime you just get people together for some type of food. Well, burgers though, dude. Because Bur- hot dogs Bur- are just universal. not the same. I'm sorry. I could tear some dogs. No, hot, dogs, hot dogs is just not the same. Like people, people <laughs> getting together eating weenies. It's just not. The, it's just not the same shit. It's not. I. Uh... Hey, what you, what kind of weenie you got there? <laughs> <laughs> What kind of weenie you got there, friend? Eating a weenie on uh, at on Hyman Boulevard. I need a I need to do some more videos, man. <laughs> yes. And he will be doing some more videos very soon on his YouTube channel. I need a I guess make some suggestions on what kind of I recipes think you should, I would want to see. Oh, recipes? Well, like just say something like there's one my buddy told me and I need to do it. He wants me to do a, a Cajun ice cream. So, I've already got an idea of what I'm going to do for Cajun ice cream. <laughs> Don't tell. <laughs> I'm not going to tell him. Just know that it's going to be a Cajun ice cream. Cajun ice cream. <laughs> I can only imagine the anagram on this one. 
<laughs> what, what, what's another one? Microwave toast. Uh, and, and, it's, and it's not just limited to just doing foods. Like there was one I did on how to I tell her. I would do a jam sandwich. <laughs> you know what a jam sandwich is? No, elaborate on that. Take two pieces of bread, jam it together. <laughs> <laughs> I should have seen that coming. I should have seen that coming. Dude, you need to make a video like that. (laughs) First, you take one piece of white bread. (laughs) And then... And then you slowly take another piece of white bread. You have too much emotion of that. I I, I feel like I'm fairly emotionless when I'm doing it. Oh, no. You kind of... That's how you're doing it. I don't know if you realize that. First, you take the piece of bread... (laughs) Then you take the next piece of bread in your other hand. You smile. And and then... You smile. Then you jam them together. (laughs) Yes! Dude, if that don't get a thousand views in the first day, I'm, I'm sorry. And then you just blankly stare into the camera. That is how you make... Sandwich, a jam sandwich, <laughs> <laughs> and it's and it's not just limited to food that I do. There was another one that I did with with my buddy Hector, the mud engineer, where it was me uh, telling you how to say hello to a Hispanic. <laughs> a mud engineer sounds. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I know a couple. I, I know a couple from from the home area. So basically. <laughs> Base, but base. dude, what do you what do you do for a living? I'm a mud engineer. It's good money though. No, man. no, really I know. Is. No, I know. If you've got engineers, I know the people problem. that own the places in Homa. That that, but that, no, I mean seriously, like, dude, that's that's it is interesting. That's a whole other thing that people don't understand if they're not from here. Yeah, my buddy didn't know how to take that either. Like I said, the the one when you tell uh, Hispanic hello, basically what I did was I I took it and I was I took the phone and I was recording. I was like, today. I'm going to be showing you how to say hello to a Hispanic. And then I slowly walked into the kitchen because he was in there cooking. It was like he was cooking like some fajita meat or something because I remember it was like chicken breast. And I, I pointed the camera up and I'm looking at me so you can catch him in the background. And then I go, hello, Hector. And he, he kind of looks back and he goes, hello, Bryce. That's and, then I, and then I bring the camera back down and I say, that's how you say hello to a Hispanic. <laughs> People are like, oh, he's going to say like, hola, you know, or something like that. I'm like, no, it's just saying hello <laughs> No, it's, it's true, though. Like, like, you know, that's the part. To me, that's the part that's funny because it's like you don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> kind of like this show. Kind of like this show, yeah. yeah. I, got a, I got a fucking recipe now for jam sandwich. And Dude, I should, I should telling you. That. But yeah, if anybody has any suggestions on what they want to see, you know, just throw something together. Yeah, just write it in comments. Write it in the comments, yes. On the, on the YouTube <laughs> channel. But I would strongly consider doing the jam sandwich. I'll do. I'll do the jam sandwich just for you guys. No, I think that I think that one. <laughs> you know, I would consider you know going. You know, today we are going to find dog food. <laughs> And I just go to the store and buy some dog food. <laughs> like, load that shit up and be like, it is filled with nutritious amazement <laughs> for your dog. Like, and you know that, what I'm saying? Like, stupid shit they write on a bag to try to get people to buy it. There was, there was one, I didn't, uh, there was this one cat food that we had bought. I don't remember if it was Purina or not. I think it was. Hmm. And on the bag, it had, like, the link to, like, their Facebook and their Instagram page. And I'm like... I'm like, yeah, just fucking go in here, and then your cats can just tell us how fucking great the food is, you know? <laughs> you know, why not? <laughs> your cat's going to write the comments. <laughs> Dude, this was the best. This was the best goddamn baked goods this I've ever had. Be- this was the best <laughs> chicken and rice <laughs> cat food I've ever had in my life. Today, we are going to be eating... Kibbles and bits. Chicken and rice. <laughs> Today we're going to actually try the chicken and rice, kibbles and bits. We're going to let everybody know what we think about it. And then we're going to go to their Instagram and show them <laughs> what we think. 
We're gonna take some comments and write it, write it in the reviews. Oh yeah. man! Well, you had fun. Yeah, it was a good time. Good time. It was a fun time. First yeah. time being on the radio, it actually went better than I thought it was gonna be. So, yeah, it's definitely, gonna, definitely gonna be better. It's gonna be on YouTube too. <laughs> It's gonna be, dude. It's so much better when you have spearmint essences. Is that what it is? They don't. Was, yeah, you, was, it's, 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 if you go in a radio girl. station and have your spearmint essence oil kicking, it's just not gonna be the same. I mean, I was chewing some spearmint gum. But that counts for anything. All right, but spearmint essences <laughs> are where it's at. It's definitely where it's at. Serious. Just make sure to put a link to the. YouTube oh, channel. Yeah. The, whole, the whole four videos that I have Go on there. check out the YouTube <laughs> channel and, you know, hey, get, get us, but y'all subscribe and make Bryce some money one day. It's It's been a while since I've done if, a video just because if I have 994 to do. people subscribe, Bryce can start monetizing. I can start monetizing and then I can stop delivering pizzas. Yes. Then. <laughs> <laughs> It's kind of like Louis Anderson and coming to America. He's like, right now I'm washing lettuce. <laughs> then I'll be on fries. Then the big bucks start rolling in. <laughs> you ever seen that? I haven't. Dude, I <laughs> you need to go see that. <laughs> All right. Y'all have a good day. Thanks for listening to Rock, Louisiana. Tune in soon for Bryce. Yes, I will be. He will back. be talking about the show. I will very be back soon. talking about this show, and I will have a couple of people with me. So, go check out the pictures on Instagram and Facebook with Bryce talking about stuff with Wayne Toops looking down on it. <laughs> it's true. I'm sorry. He's like looking down I'm upon you. I'm sorry, Father Wayne. I did not mean to take your name in vain. No, he's like it's it's interesting. To, you know, <laughs> when I sit here and people talk about stuff and they get all emotional and shit, sometimes I'm like. Wayne, Tubes Wayne is it. looking at your head. <laughs> He's checking you out right now. He's looking at what you got going on. All right. Y'all have a good day. <laughs>